Yes. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Um, so what, what, what did you see that, uh, that is equal in every part of the world that you've been to? Yeah, I mean, I think that's part of the reason that um, I've become so interested in football is like for the intellectual bit of my brain and the sociologist bit of my brain is here's this phenomena that is genuinely global. Wherever you go, it's happening. And wherever you go, it's the same rules. It's exactly the same game wherever you go. And yet, of course, it's completely different. The meanings people give to it, the style in which they play, the pleasures they take, the way they interpret rules, the way they bend the rules, changes in every different culture that you play in. And if you like, comparative sociology is what floats your boat and why countries look the same and why they look different. You simply couldn't ask for a better way of understanding it. And then, there's a kind of very emotional uh, level at which um, football is really important to me, and that's the crowds. More than anything else in football, I love being in a crowd. Um, a lot of people don't like being in crowds, they get claustrophobic. When I was a teenager, I was the one in the mosh pit immediately. You know, I like it really physical and a bit rough and I like to be thrown around and I like to have physical contact with strangers and make a connection. I know this is, I know what you're thinking, but <laughs> slow down guys. Um, I like that, that you can ha suddenly have incredible intimacy with someone you've never met. I've been hugged by a lot of strangers in uh, football stadiums in my time, and it's just one of the most extraordinary experiences. And I think it's not just the physical, it's being able to visualize it. And I feel like we live in a society that 99% of the time is about me, 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 I, 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 I. It's always about individual projects and individual needs and what I want and what I need, and not about we and not about us, you know? We used to live in societies where we would gather in larger numbers, where you were in larger workplaces, where people actually thought that collective projects, the public good, the common good, actually really mattered. And there's so little of that left, I find, uh, and particularly symbolically in our society. And it's to be imaginatively reconnected with the idea that there's, we're just a drop in the ocean. There's something bigger than us. There's stuff that means stuff that isn't just about our immediate needs and wants. And to be truly organically and physically and emotionally collect connected to that and entertained at the same time. Um, and that's what, you know, that's what football gives me. And that's the thrill, you know, whether I'm watching it in Africa or Latin America or, frankly, at Bristol Rovers. Uh, it's the same extraordinary energy of what we can actually do when we're not just thinking about I, but we're thinking about us. Our last one. Uh, thank you.